In this video I'm going to show you how to connect a curved member to a column. We're going to use bent plate number 151, but the rules that I uh, deal with here would apply to any connection that's uh, joining a uh, curved member to a column or to a beam. Um, let's just see what happens when we um, just do the connection. Now on this one, um, I've set this up ahead of time. Uh, there's two different sides, so I'm going to load what I call the 2-bolt left. And uh, what I've done in here is I've set it up to cut the beam off on an angle. I've also gone in here and I've put this little adjustment in here so that we can shorten up the leg of the bent plate so that it lays flat on the column and can be welded. Uh, there's also uh, put in a half inch gap here for the cut. So I'm um, going to just go ahead and uh, load that and uh, apply OK and I'll click on the column or click on the beam. And you'll see we get what looks like a pretty nice connection but if you inspect it you'll see that the uh, bent plate encroaches on the web of the beam. So what we have to do is uh, find another way to make this work. Well, the first thing that I see that I could actually use here is the the cut on the end of the beam. So I'm going to keep that cut. But in order to do that, I'm going to have to delete a few other things. So I'm going to click on this component here and uh, I'm going to uh, explode it. And then I'm going to delete the bolt. And then also this plate. And I got the cut. So now I'm going to go back and this is the little trick that you play here. You go and you grab the same beam, which is an S8 in this case, and you're going to model. You go from the center of the column or from this point here uh, and just track it along the center line of the beam and map it out to about there and create a beam within the beam. We'll just take a quick look at what that looks like and there you have it. So what we're going to do now, this connection should now work with a straight member but it, as you can see it doesn't work very well with a curved one. So I'll grab the connection again, pick the column, pick the uh, straight beam, and I get a reasonably good connection. Now in order to uh, get rid of this beam I have to go through the following steps. I have to explode the connection again, right click, explode component, and then I'm going to start removing things. Uh, but before I do that I have to bolt this set of bolts here to this beam so what I'm going to do is I'll click on the bolt, right click, bolt parts. And I'll pick this as my first part, and this is my second part, middle mouse to complete. And now those bolts are bolted to this beam. I can now delete that member, and it leaves behind the plate and the bolts, which are now uh, bolted to that member and you'll see that this plate is nicely fitting on the column. That's how you go about doing it and uh, there's much more I can say about it. 